What's going on guys? Nice from Retro Game Nerd here with another pickup video. As you've seen the thumbnail, um, you kind of already know what's in this pickup video. A pretty insane game I've been after ever since I've started collecting. I thought I'd never find this game, ever. So, um, I gotta post an ad on an app. It's called Wallapop. It's where I get a lot of the good stuff from. And um, this guy posted some Sega CD and Sega Saturn games. Uh, one of the games is Potful Mail. He posted that for $60, and he posted this game for $400. And I was able to make a deal with him on these two games I got for $430. I could sell Potful Mail for $180, and then I get this for $250, which, when you think about it, it's a really good deal. So, I want to show you what I got here. I got Potful Mail. This is my second copy. Uh, this is in a little rougher condition, a little bit. There's just uh, some wear on the manual, some slight wear. So, this is my second copy of Potful Mail. Uh, absolutely incredible. I actually, I actually put my second copy away because um, this is actually my second take because my last one, I forgot I got, got a couple things from GameStop. Which is pretty awesome. So, Potful Mail for $60 is a steal. Um, the next game, holy crap. Um, this game is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Holy crap. So, getting this for $250 is absolutely amazing. I've been playing it a little bit, and it's it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, my God. So, I put a little styrofoam piece just to flatten out the manual, because when you put it in, it kind of sinks a little bit. So we got a little skinny fire styrofoam piece. And here we go, guys. We got sleeve one. This is disc one. I like how it's spelled. It's spelled with a K. It's very cool. So this is now my most valuable video game. Holy crap. Uh, we have a white disc. I actually didn't know it came in a white disc. I thought they were all black. It's pretty cool. We have disc three. And then we have the fourth disc. And just look at the condition. Just absolute flawless. So that was $250. Um, he, uh, I was originally wanting to him to ship it, but he only did like Western Union. And I found out he lived like an hour away, so we just met in the middle. And that's how it went. And it was awesome. Finally got Panzer Dragoon Saga. That's crazy. Alright, so now we get some not so impressive finds, but still amazing finds. FYE struck again and listed some GameCube games. Um, some pretty good titles here. Some game, A game I've never heard of was iNinja. This game was priced at, I think it was $7. So it was like 5 or $7. And, um, I, I mean, it comes complete and it's in like mint condition, guys. Like, super mint. So, it's made by Namco, which is pretty cool. Um, I looked it up. It's like a $20 game. You know, so it's pretty cool. I Ninja. I'm pretty sure anyone would have probably picked it up for seven bucks. Next one is Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. This copy was, I think it was seven dollars. So disc is absolutely like mint condition, and the game has all of the inserts. I think my copy just has the manual and nothing else. So this is probably gonna replace my copy. Mario Power Tennis, pretty cool. This was, I think, $11. So, I think I paid around $40 for all these games. So, complete with the inserts as well. And then this was, I think, $12. $12. Complete, uh, no inserts, that's alright. Disc is in flawless condition. Just, jeez. You just look at the disc and you're just like, wow, that's... Stunning. So at um, at GameStop, they had a game I really wanted, and it was Stella Glow. This was uh, fifty dollars. Bought it retail, brand new. Uh, very cool. So I've not opened it yet. Just got it like half an hour ago. This is so cool. So made by Atlas. Very cool. And there, I didn't even realize I had this game on hold for me. I ordered it a few weeks ago. I thought it got like lost in shipment or something like that. Or they didn't ship it and someone bought it. This is Data East Arcade Classics. Um, this was $16.19. Um, it comes complete. 
uh, you know, got the receipts and a disc. It has a has some light wear, but there are no deep scratches on it. I mean, it is in used condition, I would say, but the case is in the case alone is in like perfect condition. But uh, I used my coupons, my uh, points coupons. I had a $15 certificate, and then I just needed two bucks, and I got this game. So awesome! Now here's the last deal. I refreshed my wanted ads on Facebook groups. Um, I was able to get a few deals, and this was one of them. So they lived about like half an hour away. My parents were actually going on vacation for a couple days. And this was on the way there, so they just made the deal, and it was all good. So I made an, I got a Nintendo 64 with 31 games for $120. Here is the bag of games. It's awesome. Let's see what we got here. guys, I'm just taking this stuff out. There we go. So we got Wayne Gretzky, 3D Hockey, uh, 98. Had that one already. Game I didn't have was Turok 3. Uh, Pilot Wing 64. Body Harvest. Now, um, I sold my copy before, like, just before I went to uh, try to get the full set. And I didn't realize I sold this. I, like... I lined up all my games and had them in alphabetical order, and I did not realize that I was selling this game when it was my only copy. Uh, next is Mario 64, Shadows of the Empire. So, yeah, I think I'm at like 205 for N64 Library. WF uh, Warzone, King Griffey Jr. Sluggers. I believe I don't have this game. Nuclear Strike, I'll have to check up on that. NBA Courtside 2, Donkey Kong 64, Cruise in USA, WCW vs. NWO World Tour, WF Attitude, I believe this copy is in better shape than mine, Madden 2002, WrestleMania 2000, NFL Quarterback Club uh, 99, Resident Evil 2, Goldeneye 007, Blast Core, uh, Turok Rage Wars, uh, the original Turok, got yeah, NHL 99, Turok, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, uh, All Star Baseball 2001, Indy Racing 2000, I don't think I have this game, Jet Force Gemini, South Park, I don't think I have this game. So we got Perfect Dark and a Star Fox 64. Pretty good games. Now this is really cool. This is, let me just move this stuff. The system came in a traveling case, an EA Sports traveling case. And in the front zipper, there is this. <coughs> is the Monster AV Cable. I didn't realize that this for, at first when I got my first one, but these are quite valuable. These go for about 60 to $65. So now this is my second one. I will be selling it, and I just got half the lot back, just like that. So just from this cable. Uh, next we have the AC Adapter. And then the you know, there's that. I did have the expansion pack, but I re I put a regular pack in there so I could just sell the expansion pack and get twenty dollars right there for the expansion pack. And I could sell the console with con uh, controllers it came with for a good amounts. So here are the controllers. Um, you may so uh, notice something different about these controllers. Uh, these are like a new stick. I don't know uh, if these guy, if this guy, uh, again, like, did it himself or something like that because he worked for Apple, so he probably had a buddy who does this kind of stuff. But um, these are new sticks. These are not like the standard thumbstick. 
So that's really cool. I actually end up keeping these. These are like the GameCube 6 kind of. He has it on both of the controllers. Um, I will be keeping them and swapping them with uh, these ones. So they kind of have a little bit of a loose stick. So I can just sell the console with these two and keep these, these controllers. So 120 for all that stuff was a really good deal. Uh, good deals all around. I uh, can't believe Panzer Dragoon Saga. Holy crap. So that's amazing. So I'll catch you guys later.